I'm often asked how, as a rabbi, I can make the emotional, psychological, and spiritual shift between funerals and baby namings, weddings and sick calls, often within the same day. And while it can sometimes be difficult personally, I find such transitions to be a powerful and inspiring reflection of a vital Jewish worldview. One source of this insight comes from this week's Torah portion, Chaye Sarah. Sarah dies after a long life, and Abraham mourns. Yet he rises from his grief to immediately attend to the logistics of her burial, purchasing a family plot from the neighboring Hittites. As with so many virtues to which we Jews aspire, Abraham's actions provide a model for the mitzvah of Kavod Hamet, honoring the dead. After these events, Abraham turns immediately to the future, embracing Isaac's need for a wife. Back then, parents had far more input into the love connections of their children than they are even remotely permitted to have these days. Again, in the process of searching for a wife who was as empathetic and kind as she was beautiful, our tradition offers encouragement as to the holistic qualities we should seek in a spouse. But even more incisively, our tradition teaches us how to navigate the inevitable ups and downs of life, not only in how we should move through these seemingly opposing experiences in close proximity, but also how we should glean greater wisdom from the journey. For it is in our darkest and most difficult moments that we come to truly value the blessings that we possess and the ones that lie ahead. And it is in our celebrations that we realize the tenuousness of life and the need to embrace our joys fully and with abandon in that they are precious and never to be taken for granted. As a story from our tradition teaches, the phrase Gamze Ya'avor, this too shall pass, reminds us of both the limits of our suffering and the shelf life of our simchas. All are inherent in the cycles of life, and all are woven into the rich tapestry that encompasses the fullness of life. Shabbat Shalom.